Good morning, girlies, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, founder and designer of NYGC by Taylor, or Not Your Grandma's Crochet. And today, we have another vlog. <laughs> to be honest, it's been a while since I filmed. It has been a minute. I, don't, I didn't fully understand when the vloggers would say that they need to rest during January after doing Vlogmas. I didn't fully comprehend, but... <sighs> Honestly, the filming part of Vlogmas was whatever. It was really the editing that really gets to you. And so the idea the past couple weeks of editing a YouTube video, like I already have to edit YouTube videos, but editing two additional YouTube videos a week and look at myself, watch myself, listen to myself talking, didn't sound necessarily ideal so what i've been doing instead is i started a challenge with myself to go live on tiktok every single weekday and honestly that's been really fun it's been a great way to build my tiktok some more a great way to interact with my community and even build somewhat of a community people who are familiar with each other and like asking each other what projects they're working on it's a real fun time so i'm gonna put my tiktok right here i typically go live every single well not typically i do go live every single weekday typically around 12 ish sometimes i have shoots and stuff so i do an evening live but yes follow me so that you can stay updated about that but that is not what we're here to talk about today during vlogmas you guys saw me make a version of this bag for my aunt as a christmas gift i guess that was kind of like the last episode of vlogmas well anyways i very quickly got a photo of this bag and then uh or not this bag but her bag and listed it on my website just so that people knew that it was an option to order my mom literally constantly roasts me about those photos but it did what it needed to do because we did in fact get an order for this bag so i really wanted this to be like i made this bag so i could take new product photos but unfortunately i ran out of yellow like right at the very end so i had to put in this slightly darker yellow so while i don't want to <laughs> Well, I don't want to list this as the actual product listing, I am considering just putting it up ready to ship because, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the bag. I just don't like that it's too dope. Yeah. Currently, my office is low-key in shambles just because I've been doing my lives in here sometimes. I have yarn, like, yarn set aside for projects I'm working on. I'll show you. Currently, I'm working on these cutesy little Valentine's Day themed mini NYGC handbags, which will be super freaking cute. But yeah, there's just stuff like all over the place. Let's pick out the yarn. So the order was for a black NYGC or a market bag. So let's use this here yarn do i think this will be enough hmm i truly feel like one of my fatal flaws in life is my refusal to use overhead lighting i can't tell you where it stems from um maybe it, like fluorescent lighting at schools as a child obviously these lights are actually quite nice they're like a nice warm color but regardless i i just don't okay and then there's this and I think I really want to use this one, but I just am not confident that there is enough of it. I could always combine these two or I could just use this because this is definitely enough. Mm, I like how you guys are probably like really confused. There are slightly different textural differences between them that you can't tell from afar. Let me put this up because I truly don't think this is enough. Between these two, mm, 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 mm. 
how much is it here? Only 179 yards. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. This is our black of choice. All right, so I have my hook. I have my yarn and I grabbed this bag. I mean, I've made these bags so many times that I know what I'm doing, but every now and then I just like to reference it. So let's just have a little bit of a chitty chat. We are um, a little bit more than halfway done with January. January's actually been a really good month for me. I've been growing in the various things that I do. Um, I've really been making an effort to make my crochet work important work and I feel like that's working out for me. Um, the lives kind of just start off as a reason for me to crochet during my work day like as like a way that it was like you know like I'm growing technically I guess I'm getting a little bit of money from it whenever people send coins but like more so more importantly I'm growing my following whenever I'm doing it no I have to sit in a pool I, I literally have to but now it's just been kind of like really fun I will say I do 100% prefer going live in the morning slash afternoon time over the evening just because I feel like I feel like in the evening people expect to be entertained <laughs> I don't know how to ex like describe it but like during the morning slash afternoon time people might be popping in during like their breaks or you know they're literally just crafting but in the evening time they're literally just watching you and that's Far too much pressure. All right, I guess I just want center pull for once. It won't be the end of the world. Let's start with my little disc. I'm also using a different hook today. This is not even the size of it. What? <laughs> All right, so I found my six millimeter hook and now I'm just going to be putting two single crochets in each of these and then doing my little basket thing I don't know you'll see working with black it's been a minute since I've worked with black or at least started a project with black it's definitely a acquired skill like it is a little bit too early in the morning and my eyes are currently not focusing so that's making this a lot harder than it needs to be. But I feel like I actually really like this yarn. It's like softer than it felt on the skein, which is good. That was my one hold up. I'm really tired of posting old content. Like I am over posting old content. Um, I just feel like it's literally been almost a year since some of the clips that I've been filming and posting on TikTok specifically were made and that just, that just needs to be corrected. So I'm trying to get back into the groove of not just making things because I've come to the terms with the fact that it's not that I have an issue filming the progress. Like I can film the progress all day. I just kind of haven't been in a mindset where I've wanted to finish or film the final, like me cute showing it off. I, I haven't been wanting to do that. <laughs> and I'm trying to get back. And I think by creating things that I'm excited about, that will help. Okay, here's my disc. I feel like my disc is slightly bigger, but I used less rose, which means this is a good yarn. I cannot remember. It feels like Red Heart yarn, but like the skein feels like Red Heart yarn, but the texture feels like Karen. Lord only knows. Anywho, I finished up the base and now it's time to get into the actual mesh part. Let's see how much I can do and then I need to wash this hair. Okay, it's a heck of a lot later. My hair looks the exact same, but is in fact very different. This is washed hair before I had a mask. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I finished the netting part 
of the bag and I don't know if you could tell but the netting looks ever so slightly different in this one it's always hard to like show just how much these bags can stretch but just know like if you're going to picnic or do like a beach day sort of situation um you can fit a good amount of stuff next up it's time to work on the um band part last time i did it this weird way that i mean i guess i'll do it again for this one it just i don't think it's necessarily the perfect way i've been making these bags so much but i also like still haven't fully perfected them <laughs> like i mean they're perfect in the sense that, like i really like them but they're not perfect in the sense that um there's still some like things that i'm not a hundred percent decided on like you know i don't know different things like that and so it's always fun whenever i make one of these because it's another chance to try something new to make this process more efficient i guess this day has ended up being quite the day i've been actually extremely productive just know we are making progress on this i will in fact be able to accomplish my goal and get this sent out by tomorrow and yeah i was not at all keeping track of how long this took but she's done. I feel like maybe now in this lighting, you can better see that the pattern is slightly different, but also I think the stretch is slightly better. So yeah, let me see if I can put some heavy things in, like test actually how much it stretches. Okay. This little um, yarn holder, like you can put your strings in it that a friend made me in school. Yeah, she's stretching. Um, what's something else that's like heavy? I don't think that this is actually going to do what I wanted to do, but let's just see. This one might be too big, actually. Let's try this one. Yeah, she's in. And a cleaner. <laughs> Not that you would ever need to carry all of this, but if you needed to, the bag can in fact hold it all. And yeah, I feel like this is definitely going to be a great bag for summer. I do have plans to, um, just go ahead and pre-make some bags because this is a great way to use up my yarn. This is how much yarn I have left. So I probably used about two thirds of it. I still, <laughs> I really need to like test it with a yarn that I like know the yardage of to like really get a feel for how much yarn it takes. But um, I think there's definitely some other colors in my stash here that would look really pretty as market bags and that i could easily just whip up and have ready to ship i know i'm literally still carrying this around because even though like i'm telling you this stuff is very heavy it doesn't it just yeah it, it feels very nice on my shoulder for some reason let me actually see okay so this is what this like pattern i told you it's like a little bit different than the previous one let me see it'll also show you how it just stretches back or like goes back to its pre-stretch size but let me stuff all the stuff into this one this is my current sample that's my sample and see how this mesh defers i hope it doesn't defer at all but it yeah, it's not really deferring at all, which is good. That's ideal. 
and boom. Just as comfortable, if not more comfortable. I love these bags. I really need to do a better job of promoting these bags. I think just because it's so cold outside, I don't know. I'm not really thinking about picnics, farm mar farmers markets, and beach days and whatnot. But when I am, this is the bag that I'll be using. So, anywho, that is it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow when we are packing up this lovely bag that just as I knew, went back to a nice size. So yeah, these bags are literally amazing and I think you need it on your next vacation. Just, just consider. The link is in the description to purchase if you are interested. Hi, okay, it's actually two days later. Um, I had a lot of work to do yesterday, so I wasn't able to package up the bag and everything, but we're gonna do that today. We have the bag. Cute, cool, fun, amazing. As you can see, it's shrunk back to the size that it's supposed to be. So yeah, that's why I really like these bags. You do need something heavy in it in order to like really get it to stretch. But even if it's like a bunch of clothes, it will still get there. So let me grab all of my packing supplies and yeah. So scale. I really need to upgrade my scale. I want like um I want the Munden scale, I think is what it's called. Cause I like their digital or their their laser printer. I want I still don't have a laser printer. I know after all these years you think I would finally gotten one. But I was just kinda like while I was at school, it kinda was pointless because I could just print for free there. But now that I'm in my own place, I definitely need to invest in one. So that'll definitely be on the list. I also, I think it's extremely important, not important, but I think it's a nice touch to include a thank you card with all my orders. I know it's not necessary by any means, but I think it's a nice touch. And last but not least, see if I was really, really filling it, I would put a tag in it. I do not feel like doing that, but I will put in one of these. So good. I keep this little case right here that has, I don't know, just a selection, an assortment of like mini school supplies essentially. It was from my old, I used to be obsessed with school supplies. That's a conversation for a different day. But it has this mini hole puncher, so I never explained what these are. These are hang tags. Um, I'm currently out of business cards, so I'll also use these as business cards sometimes. But yeah, the main intention is as hang tags. Sometimes I also like to write like cute little notes on them. I'm trying to decide if I want to string this through with yarn or let's just do yarn. All right, first things first on here, I'm just gonna put a cute message like that says, hi, I stretch. Just something cute like this. And then the thank you card. It's just blank on the back. I really desperately need to get some new ones of these. I've literally had these four years that I've been consistently selling stuff for my business. So we will work on that. And then with my orders, I always give a discount code just to say thank you and to incentivize people to reorder. I will say that is a good tactic in terms of building good customer rapport, I guess. Um, and yeah, it's nothing to do. A cute little code. And boom. Gotta do the blue writing with the blue pen. Pop. So, I'm using packing paper, but I've also done this with tissue paper before. Either works. I also have my hang tag that I need to add on before I forget. And let's do that first. So I'm just going to take some of my yarn, probably about 
<laughs> about this much. Going to thread it through. Mm -hmm. Close this off with a little knot. Mm -hmm. It could be a little bit of a loose knot, who cares? Then I'm just going to take one of these straps and loop this around like so. And now we have our cute little hang tag moment. Nice. Then I'm going to nicely fold this as nice as I can. Fold, fold, let's see, fold. Ba, ba, ba. Then I'm just going to put this wrapped up in here. Do I think that all this is 100% necessary? Honestly, yes. I think something that's fun about shopping small is the unpacking experience. And it really takes me, what, maybe five minutes to put this all together. And it costs me, I don't know, maybe at most, I don't know, three-ish dollars per order maybe two dollars for order max probably a lot less than that probably something closer to like 80 cents each order if i'm being honest well hmm how much would i say i would probably say like a dollar fifty cents per order this extra effort and it's worth it to me to give my customers a good unpacking experience cute something like this then we're going to take our yarn like so get an okay amount this should be good enough Cut it and now this is definitely completely extra but this is kind of like my favorite touch i just feel like it is fun the string is probably a little bit too long but such a slam Such is life. Move this through. So that it doesn't slide off. And boom. Nice. And then do my little bows. Like so. This stuff we probably looks more significant <laughs> with a little bit more significant with like actual ribbon but this will do and then all I do is slide my thank you card in between these ties like so and boom we have a cute little package all ready to go to its new home also thumbnail maybe <laughs> then these are my current shipping poly miller bags i really like these they definitely i know some people <laughs> it would be nice to have custom ones i'm not at the point where i think it's a worthwhile investment but that is something that i like in the future for now i like to get a just like simple but still a decorative one just because I feel like I don't want something that's like too saturated in color. Is there anything that I'm missing? No, that's everything. I don't want anything that's too saturated in color just because that's not as aesthetic. <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like this is kind of perfect. Then this is an additional step that sometimes I do right now. Sometimes I would do a little bit later, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now. We are going to 
purchase our shipping label. So in terms of shipping labels, I do all my purchases through Pirate Ship, which is a really great website. It directly integrates with my Spotify, but it directly integrates with my, my did I say Spotify? <laughs> I meant my Shopify. And so it'll automatically, the order information, and I just have to make sure that the weight is correct. But yeah, this is really nice. Even if you're not a business owner in, I don't know, let's say you send a lot of packages to family and stuff like that, I would recommend it. You don't by any means have to be a business owner to use this. But some other nice features about this is that it does things like, I don't know, locate from, <laughs> like locate from other you don't have to just use USPS, you could use UPS, you could use so many different things. It essentially shows you the best price, so it'll tell you like, hey, this is the best one, the one you should probably go with, but these are some other options. Then we're just going to weigh this, like so, turn it on, and this was like a really cheap one off of Amazon. I think this was maybe... $10, maybe $12. 4.6 ounces. Perfect. Ooh, that's very cheap. Now, me, I try to ship things through USPS Priority Mail just because the tracking is important to me. Like the little insurance, whatever is important to me it is slightly more expensive of course than like ground advantage or first class but only by like three or so dollars nothing insane so let's purchase this currently on my website orders over um fifty dollars get free shipping i will probably be changing that by the end of january slash february i'm just gonna text this to myself and then we'll figure this out later but yeah if i had a dymo or a mom then label printer then this is the time that i would just print through there but i do not so instead i'm just going to text myself the label and figure it out from there but anywho that is everything. That is how I package and process my orders. Um, another great thing about Pirate Ship is that it will send an email like with tracking and stuff to the recipient. If I know the recipient or like, let's say it was a custom order, I usually will do the extra step and like message, like text it to them also just to make sure that they got it. But yeah, that's everything. That's the end of this here vlog. I'm really excited about these bags, hoping to make quite a few more this year and excited to be back on YouTube. We'll see. We'll see. Life is chaotic right now. I cannot lie. Life is definitely a little chaotic, but I'm committed to trying to fit in everything that I'm trying to fit in. So yeah. Anywho, bye you guys. I hope you have a good day or night, whatever time it is. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Give this video a like and check out my website or my other social media platforms. I don't know. Anywho, bye you guys. Oh.